Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's try the related rates type of problem on something like parallel resistors. We know that the total resistance can be expressed in terms of the equation over here, that 1 over the total resistance equals 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. The two resistors, R1 and R2, are 80 ohms and 100 ohms, and they're changing at the rate of 0.3 ohms per second for R1 and 0.2 ohms per second for R2. The question is, find the rate of change of the total resistance with respect to time under these circumstances. We can also take this equation and solve this equation algebraically for our total, and then the equation will look like this. With two resistors in parallel, we call that the product over the sum form of the equation. We multiply the two resistors, and then in the denominator we add the two resistors. We're going to try to find the dr dt for both our total for both of the two equations and then compare the results to one another. They should, of course, be the same. Starting with the first equation, we're going to take the derivative of each side with respect to time. And of course, these are all quotients, so we can write it like this. We can say that on the left side, uh, the ddt of 1 over our total is the denominator our total times the derivative of the numerator, which would be 0, minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator, which would be dr total dt, all divided by the denominator squared, r total squared. So that's the derivative with respect to time of the left side. Let me draw an arrow here. So we go over here, and we're going to take the ddt of both sides. So that's what we're doing here. Notice we're going to do the same with the right side. So we have the denominator, r1, times the derivative of the numerator, which is 0, minus the numerator, times the derivative of the denominator, all divided by the denominator squared. And of course, plus we get exactly the same thing for the second resistor. That would be 0 minus dr2 dt divided by r2 squared. All right, so now what we're doing is we're trying to solve for this right here. Notice that this is 0, this is 0, so it goes away. We can multiply both sides of the equation by negative sign to take all these and make them positives. And then we're going to multiply both sides of the equation by R2 total. So we'll get the following. We get dr total dt is equal to R total squared times here we're going to get dr1 dt divided by r1 squared plus dr2 dt divided by r2 squared. Let's take a quick look, make sure we did that correctly algebraically. Let's see here, these become positives. We have this in the numerator, this in the denominator, and the whole thing multiplied times this. That looks correct. So now let's plug in some values and see what we get. Well, first of all, we're going to need the total resistance. And using the product over the sum rule, we can say, well, this is equal to 80 times 100 divided by 80 plus 100. So it would be 8,000 divided by 180. And that would be 800 divided by 18. That would be 44.44 ohms. So this would be equal to 44.44 ohms. Of course, the force continue on forever. All right, so we're going to put that in here and square that. So that's 44.44 quantity squared times. In the numerator here, we get dr1 dt, which is right here. That would be 0 0.3 divided by and that would be, where are we here? Oh, R1 squared and R1 is 80. So it would be 80 squared plus 0 0.2 divided by 100 squared for R2. All right, now we're ready to work that out. So we have 44.44 squared times in parentheses 0.3 divided by 80 squared plus 0.2 divided by 100 squared, close the parentheses, equals, and that would be equal to 0 0.132 ohms per second. 
So that means that if this resistor is changing at a rate of 0.3 ohms per second, and this resistor is changing at a rate of 0.2 ohms per second, then the total resistance will change at a rate of 0.132 ohms per second. So now we've done it for the first equation, now let's do the same thing with the product of the sum equation. We should get the same results. So here we'll take the derivative of the left side with respect to time, dr total dt, and that already right away puts it in the right format because we are solving for the rate of change to the total resistance with respect to time. And here we have a quotient, so we take the denominator times the derivative of the numerator, but that's a product. So there we have to use the product rule. So it's the first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first with respect to time. So we have the denominator times the derivative of the numerator minus the numerator, which is r1, r2, times the derivative of the denominator, which is dr1 dt plus dr2 dt. And the whole thing is divided by the denominator squared. All right, that will make this dr t dt equal to the sum of the two, which is 180, times r1, which is 80, times the rate of change of R2, which is 0.2, plus R2 times the rate of change of R1, minus the product of the two, times the sum of the rate of change of both of them. So that would be 0 0.3 plus 0 0.2, all divided by the sum of the two, quantity squared. All right, good thing we have a calculator. Let's find out what that is equal to, and hopefully it's the same result as what we have over there. 0.2 times 80 plus 0.3 times 100 multiplied times 180 and subtract from that 8,000 times 0.5 and divide by 180 squared equals, and sure enough, we get the same results. The rate of change of the total resistance with respect to time is 0.132 ohms per second. There we go. Same result as what we got before. It's kind of interesting. Notice that we have two forms of the equation. Of course, this is the same as this, just in a different form. When we take the derivative of both sides with respect to time and solve for dr dt, we should, of course, get the same result. And that's how it's done.